My name is Charlotte, and I work in the Historic Clothing Department at the New Canaan Museum and Historical Society in Connecticut. The 1860s dress that we are photographing here belonged to a family of a New Canaan resident. The gown is believed to have belonged to the mother of his great-grandmother, Mrs. Edward Prime. Our records show that the dress was, quote, altered as a costume. However, at this time, it's unclear which pieces were altered, but it indicates that the dress was passed down through generations of family members and was likely worn to a fancy event many years after its original purpose. Elliptical-shaped skirts became popular for women's gowns in the late 1860s, and the back of our skirt features dozens of tiny pleats to help gather the voluminous material in the back of the dress to extend over a hooped petticoat that the original wearer would have had underneath. The body of the dress is made of black brocade, and the colors are still quite vibrant, and the back of the bodice is designed to lace up rather than fasten with hooks and eyes, which were two popular methods of garment closure at this point. You can also see the velvet and lace trim up close here, and the bodice comes down to a sharp point at the front. And here is another slow pan of the florals on the skirt. If anyone wants to identify these flowers, let me know. Flowers are not my forte. Colors for gowns were generally lighter for young ladies and darker for women, suggesting that this belonged to a married woman. And although this dress is beautiful, it will not be going into the evening gown exhibit because we have other dresses that we have selected instead. So stay tuned for those because we'll be photographing some of them soon, but here are the final photos that we took for our database of this dress. We accidentally photographed it in front of a black backdrop, but I think the photos turned out really nicely and I hope you enjoyed. So thanks for watching.